what is the way out of corruption now we are going to talk about a few proposed measures for corruption to be removed from the society the first thing that i am proposing is that the quranic message should be communicated effectively there should be translations of the quran that should be made available there these translations should be read and read out to others uh without much other elements of uh, the speaker's own words without sermonizing god's message is very effective and the very fact that one uh, perceives the message coming from god is actually uh, has a very profound influence on an individual's uh, way of thinking uh the quran reminds us of death and accountability and that reminder is is very effective and potent it uh, it uh, deals a very strong blow to uh the uh, corrupt inclinations the evil leanings that individuals have so a constant reminder of the fact that this life is uh not forever and that one day we will be held accountable for the deeds that we are doing in this life it's very very unlikely that a person is not going to be affected by this message if he or she is listening to it with an open mind the other thing is to remind people of man's vulnerability to remind people through the quran about the fact that life doesn't stay the same way we do not remain what we are for the entire length of our lives uh today we enjoy one status one standard of living and then it changes to the positive or to the negative uh, this happens to to many people and therefore there is no reason why one should get involved in corrupt ways when we know that in life there are many people who after having gone through one phase of life experienced another phase because of because of health issues because of uh, uh, some tragedies in life or in, in family or because of uh, business not going well or uh, one's uh, services getting terminated family members children not behaving well etc etc so when this life is unreliable why should we make it a uh, good attempt to make it good by doing things which are wrong uh, doesn't make sense and then the quran also reminds of the examples of the people who were corrupt and who met with very tragic ends they uh, ultimately became miserable object of uh, pity for others to see them uh the example of corrupt people uh reminded by the quran is again a very effective uh way of dealing with corruption uh we know that in surah al qasas the 28th chapter the almighty has talked about the example of qarun kora who was uh, immensely rich and yet he was arrogant and corrupt and therefore he did not pay heed to what moses musa alayhi salam invited him towards and despite the fact that he was at one stage of his life very strong very rich and very popular amongst some people of the society he met with a tragic end and uh, at the end of the story he was being pitied by the very people who were envying him 
there are numerous such examples of people who were corrupt and then despite their richness, strength and popularity, they met with tragic ends and were a subject of pity and sympathy for others rather than uh, objects of uh, being uh, ideals to be emulated. So it affects corruption and the uh, corrupt tendencies if the Quranic message is properly communicated.